Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is my SSE Electricity League First Division preview. I'm basically gonna I'm, I'm previewing the run in. So at the moment, obviously Shelburne are five points clear, or fifty points at the top of the table, and then behind them, then we've got Drogheda with forty five points. You've got Longford with forty five points, and you've Cabinteely with forty three points, and Bray with thirty eight points. Now, obviously. Shelburne are the favourites, but if you look at their running, it's you know it's the tough toughest running out of any of the the other clubs. They've got Longford away on Saturday, and um, they've got Bray at home in in Talca Park. Then they have Drogheda away, and then they finish the season with Limerick at home. So you know they've got three of the top five in their next three games. Um, I was at the game versus versus Bowes the other night and they arrested some players for that. Obviously when Kieran Kilduff came on he, he changed the game in Shelburne's favour for, for the for the most part I would suppose until the last five minutes as you know Bowes fans would be quite happy about that. As a Shelburne fan I, I obviously wasn't but um I'm I'm doing this in in, a, in as neutral as uh, as I can basically basis. So um I'm just going through who I would have so obviously, like Shells are gonna play against Longford, who are basically joined second. So <sighs> Longford are gonna be up for this, you know. Let's let's not kid anybody. You know they were on a, a really good run up until recently, and then just decided to kind of fall off the wagon. The, the league is so tight at the moment, you know that it could, it could go anyways. I mean, if it's it's Shells' league to lose essentially, and I mean that's that's quite obvious. But regarding you know. Drogheda and Longford will be looking at that as, you know, they'll be using that in their favour to try and get results. So they, they'll see that as a weakness for Shells at the games that they have to play. But if Shells go to Longford and play like they did for the first 80 minutes against Bowes, they'll win. They will win. And Ian Morris even came out and said that. But look, it, it's, it's going to all depend on, you know, the crowd. How the players play, everything else. But from, from, from like, I'm going through Drogheda's last four fixtures. They've got Wexford at home, which is a very winnable game for them. Then they have Athlone away, which again is a very winnable game for them. So if Shells drop any points and Drogheda essentially, you know, win, they could be you know two or three points in the difference. Then you know after after the next games. Then you have they have Shelburne at home, which is a must win for Shelburne. But I mean if 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 Drogheda win their next three, they could be sitting top at top of the league. Uh, and then they've Bray away for the last game of the season. I do think Bray are one of the one of the teams at the moment, just a little bit inconsistent, but you know, they can take the points off any team when they want to. It's just that type of season for them. I think they're just kinda of adjusting to being down the in the first division again. Obviously we all know about their the troubles that they had. Um, then we have Longford's next four fixtures are, you know, Shelburne at home, which is we just spoke about, um, Wexford away, um, which is obviously a very winnable game for those guys. Uh, Bray at home, again, I just spoke about Bray, and you know, you don't know what way that game could go. And then they've Cove away, which again I think is a is a very winnable game. But then again, you know, Shells went there and lost one nil. Uh, then we have Cabin Teeley. And their last four games are Galway at home, which is very winnable, Cove away, um, Athlone at home, and Wexford away. So if Cabin Teeley win all those four games, they'd be, in my opinion, sitting in a very good position to go up uh, in a playoff spot. That's what I, I, I've watched them this season, and I do think that, you know, they're very underrated. So they're very organised and uh, they're a very frustrating team. And. You know, it's something to get enough credit. To be to be fair, you know, I think they're a good side with some good players, and uh, yeah, then we have Bray. Their last four games are Cove at home, Shelburne away, Longford away, and Trot at home. So, I mean, if Bray are looking to finish the season strongly, you know, they've the three, they've the top three for the last couple of games, you know. So they might be look, they might be in a position to say, okay, well, we're gonna show what we're made of, or. They may just roll over for the last four games, who knows. But uh, I, I could definitely see them beating Cove and maybe taking some confidence into Shell's way then. Which hopefully isn't the case. But um, now let me know your thoughts in the comments. I think, you know, I think Shell's will win two out of the four and maybe draw one. 
So it'll all depend on kind of how the other results go. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. You know, maybe I'm being a, a little bit too biased. You can tell me in the comments because I'd like to get your opinion. Uh, am I wrong or right? Um, and if you're a Bose fan, you're probably just going to give stick in the comments over the three two. So fair enough. I would do the exact same if I was in your your situation. But uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you want me to do any other previews or anything like that in the comments, do let me know, okay? Thanks very much for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.